Blue 32, Omaha, Omaha, Omaha. Oh, hey, what's up everybody? Hungry Hussy here. We're on the back porch today and we're bringing to you today some pretty awesome Super Bowl food. Yeah, that's right, that big game is coming up. Who you got? Comments below. So today, let me get this crazy thing. This is the closest thing I had to a football helmet. So that's my, that's my four-wheeler helmet. <laughs> so, like I said, today we're doing some stuffed Fritos with pulled pork, and there's gonna be an avocado cream on top. Man, this is gonna be something. You wanna be the highlight of your big day? This is what y'all need to bring, let me hear you, okay? We have an eight-pound Boston butt that we're gonna put on the big green egg. We're gonna run this kind of hot. I'm running behind today, y'all. About 325-ish, and we're gonna hope about a, about an hour a pound, give or take. I might ramp it up to about 350 later on. I'll be using this Thermoworks smoke to monitor the temperature of not only the butt, also my pit temperature of the big green egg. So this is gonna be good, y'all. You will not wanna miss it. Check it back. What we're gonna do now is we're on a rubber butt, get some seasoning on it. One thing I got, I got I like kind of doing these days is I don't use mustard anymore. I kind of, I kind of like using Worcestershire sauce. Rub that all around. And then we're gonna use some uh, some dizzy pig, uh, dizzy dust. On a, liberally apply this all right it's time to get this smoke going this thing is uh, crazy crazy simple to use press the on button and it fires right up here's the receiver you take that with you it's got a nice uh, lanyard that goes with it press it on and it'll hook up There it goes. Already connected. Boom, that easy. This is I'll take meat probe. And I try to stick it right in the middle of this pork butt. Right in the middle. We're gonna put our, our smoke wood in. I got a mixture of apple and hickory. I'm from North Carolina and we do mostly hickory. This right here makes cleanup a lot easier. So just take, get your pan like that. Easy peasy, right? Now, take your butt, put it right over your pan. That drip, that catches your drippings, and it's all good. Actually, I think I want to do fat cap down. And we want to make sure we have plenty of bark. So we do that right there. There we go, folks. We take our other uh, sensor, our other thermocouple for the smoke. There it goes. We're gonna put it about right there. All right, there we go. Look at that. That was a couple minutes, you know. Didn't take long at all. So we got both probes in. I need to set the temperature on both the pit and the butt. So let's let's let that go. So now we want the high alarm for this is our meat. Um, I want to go to about 205 with that set. I want the low to be yeah let's set it real low doesn't really See, it's already, it's already telling me, hey, hungry hussy, get on this, bro. All right, so we got a low of 38 and a high of 205. And you can see the lanyard, the lanyard has quit beeping. All right, now the pit temperature, we're gonna run this butt high. We're gonna run it real high. So we might go, 
I might go upwards of 350 so I'm gonna set this 370 375 and a low of 225 guys that's it that's all it is to it it's lower than 225 see how fast it reacts and that's this it also vi it also vibrates which whenever you're in the bed it'll do everything if you want to mute it just hit this and this is backlit as well with which is also very nice this is backlit as well so when you're out here at night you know you can you can see see what's going on so the smoke's got my back y'all and and I love it it's much easier to set than anything else on the market so you want to check these out all right we're gonna let this go for shoot I don't know I'm hoping it's gonna be about eight hours it's an eight pound bud I'm hoping I can get an hour per out of it like I said I'm gonna run it kind of hot all right guys hunger hussy out see you in see you in eight hours go team all right, well, we've been uh, going now for yeah, maybe an hour or so, maybe two hours, and yeah, she's looking really good. The smoke is, as you can see, well, it's dropped now, it was 330, uh, 330 degrees, and the butt is now at around 94 degrees internal temperature. Uh, so we're cruising along. Just want to let you see the progress as we go. We got a touchdown, people. The smoke receiver is going off. Pretty good timing, actually. I put this on about 3 o'clock. It's now uh, around 8 o'clock. So, hey, that's pretty good. I ran this about 325 about the whole time. I did creep up to about 350 for, for a good while. What we got here? Ooh, look at that. Y'all see that? Dang. Look at that. Mm, that's some goodness right there. So, that's it right there. The smoke did its job the whole time. I didn't have to worry about this one bit. So it's eight o'clock. What I plan to do with this is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pull it and it's gonna put it in a baggie. Right before kickoff, I'm gonna stuff those, those Frito scoops uh, with this pulled pork. I got a little bit of uh, barbecue sauce. I got some red onions, some Monterey Jack cheese, some cheddar cheese. Uh, also have some, some pepper Jack cheese and we're gonna put them back on the egg just right before we serve these things. Melt that cheese and we got a, an avocado crema that I'm also gonna show you how to make uh, to top these off. So you'll not wanna miss this. So our avocado crema will consist of a half cup of yogurt, uh, the juice of one to one and a half limes, I got some dill, I got onion powder, garlic powder, and some parsley. And the star of the show, some avocados. Uh, I might use uh, both of these halves, but usually I only use one. This was kind of a small avocado, so I might just use two. And we're just gonna use that in the neutral bullet and blend it right up. Oh, and uh, also a little bit of vinegar uh, and some milk. All right, I, this is actually half and half. Sometimes I use buttermilk. Uh, if you don't have buttermilk, squirt a little bit of vinegar in that. Let it sit. It's about equivalent. We're just going to use the milk to make sure it's, it's creamy and it's loose. You don't want it really, really tight. So let's get this started. Add your sour cream. Right now, I'm just going to add one of my avocados. Okay. I'm going to add my seasonings. Gonna need some salt and pepper too. Okay. Uh, we'll add a little bit of cilantro to it also, just to give it some some brightness. I'll add my limes. We'll go a little bit of this one too. 
and a little bit of your milk. You can kind of see how the milk has almost acted like buttermilk. I squirted that vinegar in there. It's not as close to buttermilk. You see it's kind of chunky, lumpy. Kind of like me, chunky and lumpy. All right, let's blend it up. Okay, we'll just give that a, just give it a quick, quick go on the Nutribullet. It makes short work. And let's try it. Mm. Really, really good. It does need some salt. One, one part that I failed to mention is to add some honey. Darn it. Come on, hungry hussy, get it together. Get in the ball game, son. We're just gonna add a tablespoon or so. It needs a little bit of sweet. You got a lot of, a lot of tart in there. And there we go. It's just what the doctor ordered. Need a little bit of sweet to cut through. All right, let's stuff these Fritos. So here's a cast iron skillet that we have. I just have a few Fritos in here. Uh, sprayed a little bit of Pam in the bottom uh, just to make sure any cheese of whatnot you know, don't stick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stuff these Fritos with some pulled pork. I made this earlier. You just want to make sure you find a you know a pretty good piece for your Frito. So we have our Fritos stuffed. We're gonna add a little bit of pepper jack cheese. Pepper jack. We're gonna add some cheddar. You could do all pepper jack if you want, but I kind of like the color contrast. And I'm gonna add a little bit of red onion to so it'll cook. I'm gonna finish these in the egg, and then when we get them out. I'll add a little bit more. Put these in the egg. We're running at about 400 degrees on the big green egg. This is a large big green egg. We're gonna let these go until the cheese melts. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see if that cheese is nice and melted. Oh yeah. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Boy, look at that. Oh, we're not finished yet, guys. We are not finished. Cause I'm gonna tell you what. This is what we're going to do. We are going to add a little bit of our barbecue sauce. Okay. And then we're going to use some of our avocado crema. We're going to put a little bit more of the red onion. We're going to tear a little bit of our cilantro. Just going to do a little squeeze of this lime over the top. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Right here is a total babe magnet right here, guys. I'm gonna tell you what. All right, well there you have it, folks. The pulled pork stuffed Fritos with barbecue sauce and avocado crema is done. And oh my my, is this gonna be good. So now, only thing left to do is we need to give this puppy a try. Mm, 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 mm. Touchdown! That's what I'm talking about. Mmm. Good gosh. Guys, if you want to be the hit of the party with your appetizer dish, make these. You'll thank old Hunger Hussy later. I guarantee it. Guys, I appreciate you uh, checking out this video. I appreciate you watching all my videos. The support is is just wonderful so i do appreciate you hit that like button hit that subscribe button give me a comment hunger hussy likes to talk to you guys i'm gonna tell you that until then y'all hungry hussy is out